Okay, good morning. I uh, just want to show you in this video how you can um, take data that uh, is of two separate proportional relationships, but also of kind of the same quantities uh, and compare them. So in this example I've made up here, I have uh, I've made up a situation where two students are reading books and this is the length of time that they read. So in this particular um, situation, the uh, books are uh, the time you spend reading the books and that and here is four, eight and 16. But then for Jane, Jane can read two books in that time. Uh, and Joe can read one book in that time. So Jane reads two, Joe reads one in the four hour time interval. Then when it's eight, they can read four and two. When it's 16, they can read eight and four. It's a predictable pattern, something obviously the purpose of this video is to show you how you can take this information, not just make a table of it, but also make a line graph of it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select this information using the uh, just shift and arrow, or you can also uh, use your mouse and you can certainly uh, drag and select things as well by just clicking and dragging. You can do it that way as well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the chart. This is in Google Sheets, by the way, in case I didn't say that. I'm gonna go up to the uh, chart feature. So on my toolbar, I have this chart feature here, but you can also go to the insert menu and you can select the same by inserting chart as well. So either the toolbar or the insert chart menu. Now what it does here, it actually detects the kind of chart that I want to use. Uh, in this case, I wanna use a, a line chart, one that's overlaid uh, on top of on, on top of it. So that's, I want both Jane and Joe's books to be uh, on the graph on the same table. Okay, so right now I have the information that I want here. I'm just gonna make a couple of changes to this to make it so I can make predictions and also so that uh, it shows and uh, displays that these are both proportional relationships. This is the part that may be new to some of you. Um, I like three values because three values generally or three rows generally makes it, uh, makes it aware that, hey, you're doing this. But if you don't have, if it picks a different type for you, just select something uh, like if it picks like a bar graph by accident, you can just go to the chart type and select line chart. What you're going to then do is in your chart editor, you're going to go to customize. And in customize, you're going to go to the horizontal. There's a few things you're going to do. First, you're going to go to the horizontal axis. And uh, what I want you to do is I want you to make the minimum value zero. And then the maximum value should be like something relevant for the problem. So if it says, for example, uh, how many books will Jane read in 50 hours of reading? You can type in 50 here. And then what that does is that forces the chart to go from zero to 50 on the x-axis. Uh, and then also, if I can just move this up just a little bit, uh, resize and okay, that's it. And then also you can do the same thing by going to the vertical axis and using zero for the minimum value here. And then let's say uh, 100 for the for the uh, for the Y. Uh, maybe 100 might be a little bit too high. Let's try Let's try 70. OK, so now uh, even 50 would be fine. So now the other thing you're going to want to do is you'll notice that based on this, this is only showing a line of the data that I had in the table. The other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go within the customize menu to series. And in series, you're going to click trend line. And what that does is it now adds this proportional relationship to this. Um, what I'm going to do, and, and by the way, the numbers I'm giving you for the maximum are just kind of arbitrary based on the problem. I'm actually going to change this to 25 so it looks a little nicer. Okay. And then when you're done, you should have a graph of both proportional relationships. Books read by Jane, books read by Joe. So it should be really visually apparent that after 50 hours of reading, uh, Jane reads 25 books while Joe only reads 12 and a half books, something like that. Okay, that could be a question that you might be asked in the problem. Um, but you just wanna make sure that your chart does indeed show the information that is going to be asked about in the questions that are in the future parts. Okay, so hopefully this helps, uh, helps uh, give you some idea of what you can do with the customization. You also have the ability, by the way, to copy this chart to the clipboard. And then if your own Google Slides, when you go to paste it, paste it linked. And then if you paste it linked and you later say, hey, I need to make a change to the chart, any change you make to the chart is going to be uh, reflected in the slideshow as well. Okay, so again, I hope this helps. Hope you learned something and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.